What's going on guys? Banglenauts here, bringing you a let's play of King's Quest The Silver Lining. This is a game that started out as a fan based project for uh, the Kings to continue the King's Quest saga basically. Um, the last real King's Quest game was probably, uh, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago or more. Um, so this is uh, one of the newest ones. That, like I said, started out as fan based and then uh, probably like in 2006, maybe. In 2010, they finally came out with um, like episode one, and then they're gonna have five episodes total. Um, I believe it was 2010. So, anyway, I'm gonna play through these. I, uh, I kind of wanted to, when I first found out about this project, I kind of wanted to wait until the end. And I actually thought they were all done, but it sounds like they still have episode five to put out. So, I'm gonna play episode one and uh, see how it goes. So episode one is called, What is Decreed Must Be. When the royal family is once again threatened by the forces of evil, King Graham of Daventry embarks on a journey across the Green Isles and through a menacing storm in search of the knowledge of the Green, the Great Oracle. Oh, the music's kicking in big time. Will he find the answers he seeks? What is the cause of the strange events surrounding the Green Isles? What is the identity of the mysterious cloaked man? Find out in the exciting first episode of the long awaited The Silver Lining. And okay, let's get straight to it. Now, I did play like the beta version they had back in like 2008 or something like that. But uh, it was only like, I don't know, a couple minutes of gameplay, a couple things to do. And honestly, I don't even remember one thing from it. I don't even remember what the these, this first cutscene's all about. To Roberta and all those who dare to dream. Roberta was behind the original King's Quest story, I believe. Worked. Uh, those games were put out by Sierra. Um, this game was, orig was originally started out as a fan base, like I said, and then they went through some legal issues with Sierra, and uh, that was really the last I kind of heard. And then when I downloaded the game, it sounds like they got um, bought out by the Phoenix Studios or Phoenix Online. So that's good to see that they actually have some real backing and studios to go to now instead of it. I mean, it was literally all fan base. I mean, from the acting to graphics, everything. Happy 21st birthday, King Graham. Or sorry, King Alexander and Princess Rosella. There's the castle, palace, I don't know. There's the dog guards. All right, let's bring us in. What we got? I think there's like a wedding or something going on. Not exactly sure who they are yet. I think this is King Graham. Not positive. Oh, such a beautiful day. I mean, the graphics on this are pretty incredible for something that started out as a fan base. And honestly, I don't even think these graphics have gotten much better since they've been picked up by Phoenix. Because when I first saw this game, it looked pretty much just as good before all the big money came in. I mean, even if there, I don't even know if there was big money, really. Nice cutscene. Oh, you're so pretty. You're pretty too. You have a big jaw. I'm not sure what that's all about.
guess one of the guard dogs can now wed people. <laughs> What's that called? Ordained minister or something? Uh oh, uh oh! He's possessed. Hmm. Who's this guy? Kinda reminds me of Slender. I think he just whispered to Alexander. Uh oh, mama. No, don't go. Uh, I do go. What? I don't know. Mixed signals. What are you trying to tell me? And what is he doing? Just gonna walk out of the wedding like that? How rude! Oh, be careful! Okay. Lock yourself in the room then. Oh, snap. Good music too. Uh oh. Someone call 911! I'm guessing you gotta fall again. Oh, now you can run in your heels. You couldn't even walk in your heels. Uh oh, This guy. Did he cast a spell? Get him, guard dog. You did nothing. That cat was already gone. Look at this guy just chilling, sitting down. I think they're in on it. It's an inside job. <sighs> King Graham is pissed. I think that's King Graham. I hope that's King Graham. I used to play all these games back in the day, back when they were in a lot lower quality. Like King's Quest 6. Actually, I started playing the very first ones back in when I was a wee lad. The very first one came out in 1984, I believe. And I remember playing it as early as like 1990 or 91 when they remade it. Back on my little IBM PC. Alright, oh, we got another scene. <laughs> what What's happened? wrong with him? That's what we're all wondering, my dear. <laughs> it was evil. It was pure it was. evil. Did you get a good look at the stranger before he vanished? No. It was all too sudden, and he was wrapped in that cloak. I just know standing right in front of you, dude. In Rosella. Who was that stranger? Why did he do this to our children? I don't know, but if this spell can be cast so easily, there has to be a way to undo it. There has to be one, my lady, but I'm afraid I know not how. Shamir? Okay, thanks for that input. Sire. I've never seen a thing like it. Do you know anyone who might know what this magic is? I do. The Oracle of the Isle of the Sacred Mountain. Her knowledge is greater than the ocean, but very few people are ever allowed to see her. She will have to see me. My love, you're Let's not... Let's go find the oracle. I most certainly am. Your Majesty, if you're going to seek the oracle, I'm going to. No, son. We don't know what we're up against. You have to stay here with Rosella. This is my duty, and 
That is yours. But... Uh, you must stay here, do you understand? Yes. I'll stay here with them as well. You do that, my love. I promise I'll be back. Farewell, my dear. Can't go alone. Good luck, sire. May this curse Can't believe be lifted from alone. us before it does us any more harm. Just kidding. These games, you always go alone. I think I even, I think in even one of the games, I found a unicorn. I'll send that to Wicked Shrapnel if I find a unicorn.